Lord Kartikeya has a significant role in the Hindu or Vedic spiritual system. Devotees widely know him by his six main names Skanda, Kanda, Subramanya, Shanmukha, Saravana, Kartikeya, Guha, Murugan and Velayuda. Lord Kartikeya is the god of war and victory. He is the source of the gods as he is the commander in chief of their army. There are many sects in Hinduism that claim him as the supreme god. Lord Kartikeya is Kumara, the most handsome of all gods in Sanatana Dharma. He is youthful, playful as he majestically rides on the peacock named Paravani. He is the son of Lord Shiva and Mother Parvati and the brother of Lord Vinayaka. The birth story of Lord Murugan itself indicates that none can beat his strength and valor. The consorts of Lord Kartikeya are Devi Devasena and Devi Valli. They are the goddesses of action and willpower. People mostly worship Lord Kartikeya in the southern part of India and call him Murugan. In fact, this is a very common name among South Indians. Even gods like Indra worship and glorify him. Now coming to the mantras related to Kartikeya. Kartikeya mantra is the most powerful mantra as it provides protection to the chanter. Our Vedic scriptures mention that the Devata resides in its mantra. For example, Lord Kartikeya resides in his own mantra. So we can consider that this Murugan mantra is the personification of Lord Muruga himself. This mantra has the power to remove all ill luck and black magic from the life of the reciter. If one is disturbed by spirits, evil eyes, nightmares and curses from people, chanting the Murugan mantra shall provide protection against all of them. As Lord Kartikeya is the god of victory, he distributes the honor of becoming a leader and emerging victorious among his devotees. Hence, some devotees also call his mantra the victory mantra. In a nutshell, Murugan mantra helps remove all diseases, enemies and rivals from the life of the practitioner. Murugan's mantra gives us strength and courage to bravely face adverse situations in life. Also, this mantra gives us the energy to deal with family issues, making one's family life smooth and happy. All mantras have the power to do great favors for their reciter. However, Kartikeya mantra not only fulfills the desire of the seeker, but it also shields the chanter from dangers and enemies, giving the practitioner a full package. If people are entangled in legal cases and pending cases, this mantra will impart a lot of benefits on the chanter. The 18 Puranas and Upapuranas describe gods and goddesses. However, the Skanda Purana is named after Kartikeya and it exclusively features the pastimes of Lord Kartikeya or Skanda. Skanda Purana mentions that the Kartikeya mantra will provide spiritual intuition and knowledge to the reciter. This mantra shall provide all these benefits to the reciter if the chanter is sincere. After reciting the mantra with sincerity, the reciter will feel free and less burdened. This mantra will keep in check stress levels and slowly relieve the chanter from all worries. Let us see Murugan Gayatri Mantra. The mantra is Om Tat Purushaya Vidmahe Maha Senaya Dimahi Tanna Shanmukha Prachodayat. I repeat Om Tat Purushaya Vidmahe Maha Senaya Dimahi Tanna Shanmukha Prachodayat. The meaning of this mantra is Let us meditate upon the Supreme, who is the main general of the great Deva army. He is Lord Shanmukha. May He enlighten us and lead us the path to be with him. The mantra of Lord Kartikeya that we mentioned earlier is not an ordinary mantra. It is a Gayatri mantra. This mantra has special powers through which we can invoke the Supreme Lord Murugan inside of us.
keeping all its divinity in mind the vidhi to chant this mantra should be followed with commitment and faith one should chant this mantra on a daily basis but some people are incapable to do so because of their personal or professional issues so in this case the best day to recite this mantra is tuesday other auspicious days include all the days in the month of kritika and the days of the pushya star during full moon days one should chant this mantra either at dawn or dusk for the best results it is auspicious to chant this mantra around 11 108 or 1008 times let us understand the vidhi to chant this mantra to chant this gayatri mantra one will have to chant this mantra facing the east direction now you should chant this mantra in front of murugan yantra or in front of his idol in this vidhi one will have to offer flowers to the yantra or to the idol red color flowers are favorite to lord kartikeya so it would be better if one offers red flowers to the lord lord ganesha too likes red flowers one can offer simple prasadam to the lord like a mixture of mashed bananas jaggery raisins cashew nuts and dates or any sweet pudding now the question comes that in which mala should one chant the sacred mantra rosary beads made with clear spatika or rudraksha or even tulsi mala shall be an ideal choice if one follows all this vidhi or process with full sincerity it will bring great results in just 48 days but the seeker should have faith and devotion towards lord murugan and his sacred mantra this faith will truly benefit the reciter now what is the qualification to chant this mantra actually there are no qualifications to chant this mantra everybody can chant this mantra some south indian traditions believe that women should not do some murugan mantras as it can be harmful to their bodies we must keep in mind that sanatana dharma is completely unbiased it cares for our physical structures and hence they lay rules to restrict us from doing harm to ourselves however in case of the murugan gayatri mantra women are free and safe to chant it rather if a pregnant woman chants this mantra it shall ensure the safety and good health of the fetus moreover it shall ensure safe delivery and good health of the newborn as well as for the mother if a childless couple chants the mantra for offspring with sincerity soon one's desire will be fulfilled if we talk about males they are free to chant this mantra and don't need any qualifications just like females looking at children or students this mantra is very beneficial for them also if they recite this mantra with full faith it shall improve their memory and concentration resulting in great benefits for the child during exams and success in all areas of learning if the child is a toddler and is a student the parents of the child can recite this mantra on behalf of the child this mantra also has the potential to build the confidence levels in both children as well as adults some mantras create health issues as it does not suit their body type but this murugan mantra does not have any side effect rather it guarantees good health for sick people if sick or nervous people chant this mantra it benefits them greatly